A simple tool for recording everything that you do on screen with a PC is called Cam Studio. When you log in, if you scroll down to Multimedia and Reference and launch the Cam Studio icon, you'll get this little control here. One of the most important things you need to do, first of all, is click Options and choose Record Audio from Microphone because it will default to Do Not Record Audio. The other really useful thing is to look at the keyboard shortcuts. It defaults on my PC to F8 in order to record or to pause the recording and to F9 to stop the recording, but this might vary on your PC. But it's a really good idea to know these shortcuts because once you start recording, this little control panel here will disappear. It's also a good idea, under the options menu again, to look at the cursor options. If you click the highlight cursor box, you'll see you get this little yellow circle. Now that yellow circle will appear over the top of your cursor once you start recording. By dragging the little slider there, you can make the yellow circle bigger or smaller. And you can also change the color of it if you want to make it more obvious. It's a really good idea to use this because it shows clearly where your cursor is as you're directing people to use whatever it is you're showing them. So this is what will happen when you start recording. Now imagine I want to tell somebody how to access Word, for example, on the college network. I set myself up ready to go. I'll simply press the red button or, better still, press F8 on my keyboard and it should now be recording everything that I do. And then go down to Microsoft Office 2013, and that's where Word is, so you double click that icon there to launch Word. So I've shown somebody how to use, how to launch Microsoft Word. Once I'm happy with everything that I do, I press F9, and the recording is finished. And with Cam Studio, it brings up a little box here for you to save your file. Now this is really important. That docs location there is not where you think it is. This is the first lesson. Make sure you know where you're saving your file. This applies in all instances, whatever you're saving. Choose the G drive if that's where you want to put it, or your H drive. I'm going to choose my H drive. You need to give the file a name. Give it a meaningful name. If you leave that little star there, it won't record. So I'll get rid of the star. I'm going to call this test1. It's automatically an AVI file. So I'm going to hit save. And what then happens is we get a little preview of the recording that I've done. I can press that button there to play it to see what it was like. And obviously press that button to stop. Um, and that is how you do a recording using Cam Studio.